Hey guys, welcome to my third video on how to correct PSP on 6.16. This is just a quick video in which I'm just going to show you some of the features of hacking which people are unaware of. So yeah, one of the problems people have been lately coming with after cracking the PSP is this. That the PSP is getting really slow and by playing games it's become really laggy like in this case. So if you really want to make it fast, so just press the select button in your PSP and it will come across a menu like this and in this CPU lock XMB and C CPU lock game maximize to the to 333 1 to 6 in both the cases and what this does is it increases your PSP CPU to max which results in super slow game while you're playing games and your PSP really becomes really fast so and there's an, some of the other features on UMD USB device this basically means that when you connect your uh, PSP to your PC what should connect what file should it show in this case it's UMD disk so when I uh, connect my PSP to your PC it will show the files of my UMD and if I change it to memory stick it will change it back to memory stick but yeah it's an ideal, ideal thing to do Innovative, and after this, this recovery menu, it's this tool will use. It's actually a bunch of things of hacking. If you really are free, you can go across all these things. Like all these, I really can't explain all these right now because I'm um, not really that much time. But if you really want, I'll just make a video if many people want that. I'll just make a link where people yeah, yeah just get to know the basic things but if you people are really free um, you can just go across all these things what it does and if you if you don't really understand you can just comment and I'll tell you what it means so yeah, this is PSH menu which people were unaware of so people can now at least you know wait and explore the features of hacking so see look at this super super fast after I have increased it to the max so yeah that's it guys a quick video on uh, some of the features of hacking and yeah my next video will be on how to connect your PSP to PC so that you can play a full screen game from PSP to your PC which is like really good and yeah it's so 6.60 and people can use other versions if they're up to date and yeah that's it thank you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you